this is probably the piece I am most excited about as a dietitian. We are now able to take what we learned mapping the human genome and we're going to make nutrition very person specific. It's individualized that way and now we have a concrete tool. It's a simple little test that we do. It's a saliva test. Our members come in, they just swab their cheek, we stick it in a vial, we send it off to our lab. Six weeks later, we get their results. What that tells us is how are we going to balance your diet specific to your genetics so that you are going to be able to stay at your healthy weight. In your saliva, there is an enzyme, it's called amylase, and it's just an enzyme that helps your body break down carbohydrates. Um, we all have different amounts different amounts of the copy of this gene to code for that, to make that enzyme. Some of us have a lot, some of us do not have very much at all. So we can now test for that in the saliva. So that gives us that information and then we're able to take that information and really customize our members' long-term eating. When they're on their weight loss part of the program, that's already covered. If they're on the low end of carbohydrates just because we have them burning their body fat but when they get back on their regular diet again, the amounts of those things are gonna go up. We wanna know how much carbohydrate is your body best going to tolerate based on your genetics. We wanna know what balance, out of 100% of your calorie day, how much of that percentage needs to be carbohydrate, how much needs to be protein, and how much needs to be fat. Once we get that carbohydrate level, if you don't have a lot of copies of this gene to make that enzyme, you're on the low end. So maybe you have only, what, 25 to 40 percent of your day is going to be carbohydrate. Some people can go up to 65 percent of their day if they have more of that, that gene that codes for that enzyme. So we get that percentage of their carbohydrates and then we balance the proteins and fats around that. And I think also from a member's perspective, they have confidence once they've gotten to their goal, how am I going to maintain this? Now I have specific information of how to eat, what proportion for macronutrients, so it gives them more confidence too, and it adds credibility to our program as well. Mm -hmm. I've done the same where I've taken the test and I've been very surprised that I can handle higher carbohydrates than I thought. I think most people think, oh, I need to stay away from carbs but it's not necessarily the case and this gives them the proof so they know for sure. The profile's great because we've got all the tools. We just plug that in. It's a formula and it breaks down, okay, you're gonna get this many fruits and you're gonna get that much bread and you're gonna get this much protein and it's all done for them and laid out nicely and it's customized right to them. That's why I mean, people always ask, like, well, can I just get my genetic testing done elsewhere? Yeah, you can get genetic testing done anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. But there's one thing about knowing the information versus how to utilize that information, and our program pairs both together, and that's the real deal maker right there, is we can develop the personalized plan based on the right amount of macros and um, carbs, proteins, fats, to give them a plan and structure, support through emotional stress eating, et cetera, et cetera, to completely developed plan right to their needs. We really do focus around healthy choices, so it's going to be healthier fat choices, it's going to be complex carbohydrates versus simple carbohydrates. And so those are the kind of things that you know, we're still teaching on while they've got that information for their genetic test then too. Very simple to do and it really gives me a lot of information. I have had members in the past with my experience in weight loss where I get to that point and they I suddenly they're gaining weight back and I'm not knowing why and I don't it's like one size does not fit all here so now that I have this test and I can pinpoint like who's going to be low who's going to be high and it's coming back pretty much how I've expected so that's that's very exciting to me as a dietitian obviously we have a backing of Sanford Health Hospital system and so HIPAA is an absolute you know regimented piece and so we practice underneath the exact same HIPAA laws that Sanford Health and when that vial is sent it's a barcode, so there's no name associated with it, mm -hmm. and the lab does take care of that.